Good morning everyone, it's Ruthie here. I'm coming from Florida in a city called Riverview. I'm not sure if it's like near the west coast. I have to figure out the direction of where it is. First I want to say thank you for all the new subscribers that have joined my channel. Okay, I have to, I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget anybody. So, Sarah May, thank you. Susan Neal, Nancy Strand, Bears Crochet, Scraptastic Yarns, Jammin' with Yarn. Um, I'm not sure, this one girl's name is Megan. Um, I think her channel is called Gonciera. And Sushi. I want to thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedule and enjoying my videos. Jammin' with Yarns uh, asked me if I would maybe show some of the projects I have made that I plan on donating. So I grabbed a bunch out of the bags and everything, you know, that I had. I haven't really washed them all. I probably need to do them again. So first I will show you. This is a baby hat made out of Bernat blanket yarn. Not, you know, it's a, it's a small hat, maybe not for a baby. This could be for a preemie. It's very soft baby yarn. I did in the past make the little red hearts, uh, little red hats for American Heart Association and organization. I will have to research or look in my address book because it's um, somewhere where you can do to local to your own city that you live and send in the red hats. They can be crocheted or knit for preemies and newborns that have heart defects and such. Um, here's a scarf I planned on donating. It's just um, a basic blue scarf for a child. It's, you know, not really big. Here is an ear warmer with a little heart. Headband or ear warmer. This purple hat was made with a, a round loom, the loom knitting, okay? So you can make the cuff, you know, just by fold, folding it up. And some people like it the garter side where it has the, you know, the garter bumps. So it could be reversible because it doesn't matter on the crown. It looks good either way on the crown. So the loom knitting, was really a fun adventure. I still enjoy doing that. I make scrubbies using yarn and tool mixed together. I'll have to see if I have one in my dishcloth container. Here is a very small blue hat for a child. And here is a very warm hat. I really like this yarn. I don't remember. I think it might have been Lion Brands because it has the flex and stuff and it's a thick. I'm just not sure what it is. I've made these quite some time ago. So let me set this aside. Then I made what I call like a layette set. Here is a baby hat. All crocheted. And the little hand mitts that you know you can tighten with the yarn. I use the Bernat blanket yarn because this is going to match like a little play blanket, a little play pad for the child. Here's the other little hand mitt because little babies can scratch their faces and such. So I thought that was neat. Now this was the Bernat blanket. I'm going to have to scoot back. This is reversible. Okay. This is, this is like the play mat. You can see the size of it. And I did add flannel to the back. I crocheted it first and then I attached flannel to the back and then crocheted edging with the same hat and hand mitts. So really this would be if you want to lay it down on the floor and let the little tiny baby lay there. It's so plush and soft. It's very well padded and they can lay on that. And you can change them or whatever. So there's that. I really enjoyed making that one. This is like an 
old fashioned, but there's, you know, this is the poncho with the pom poms. And then I did fringe. This is for a toddler. Here is a little hooded sweater I crocheted. And put buttons on. Let's see if I can hold it up. And the little hood. That's the first baby garment or first garment I made. I do believe in starting little before you, you know, make something big. Since then, I have knitted a sweater, but I didn't grab that for, for you to see. You can only grab so much on the spur of a moment. This is the Octavia Baby Blanket by Lion Brand. And I enjoy that. It's really could be a Zen project. I did it in an ecru color and you know, even as the child, the baby gets in toddler stage, I can just carry that around. It's very soft. It reminds me of the dishcloth pattern where I'll show you the ones I made. It's either grandma's favorite or a traditional knitted uh, dishcloth pattern. This is the first corner to corner crochet blanket I did this year. Trying to use up my scrap yarn. It is made with Deborah Norville Everyday Yarn. And here it is. It's like a lap gan. It's a, just using all my scraps of these colors and white at the other corner. It works for me because I'm a short one. So you can just cuddle up and watch TV. And it's very soft. And then... In December, last year, I started a crochet project, and I know that's a crazy month to start one, but I did all double crochet. It's something I could just sit down and not worry about well, what row am I on or any of that, and it fits a queen size bed, and it is made with the Premier Yarns Sweet Roll. The color is gelato. The colors in the stripes with some of the ecru color is all in the one skein. I still have one of those left. And then I used everyday yarn cream color just to add it to make it much bigger. But let's see, I'm not gonna be able to hold this up because it's huge. Oh my goodness, and it's heavy. And I have it folded in half, but here you go. I can open it some. Oh my goodness, right? It's just so heavy. I get help when it's time to hold it. And I just love the colors. And it's just a nice project. Once it got so big, I had to sit on that queen size bed. It's in the spare bedroom so that I could work on it because it's just too big to be laying all on the floor. And also I just sat on the queen size bed and laid it across the bed and worked on it watch TV as I did that. So that was a really nice project. I have to move these. They're about to fall. Oh. Okay, this is crazy, but I keep the dishcloths I make. They're all the knitted dishcloths and this little plastic container. It keeps them clean and my daughter is one that will come over and I'll say, do you need any dishcloths? And she can pick what color she would like. So Let's see, I have, this is the dishcloth that I was talking about that is the Dremel's favorite. It's on a diagonal. I make them all the time, just about. Here's some scrubbies I made. As you can see, I didn't tie in the ends yet by just crocheting with a tool. They're like pot scrubbers. I know a young girl that likes to use some of these on her face just to like exfoliate. But I have all these colors, different colors. I do tend to gravitate to coral. Oh, here's a little one for your face. Like, I know I had some crochet face scrubbies, but I didn't grab them to bring them to show you. But I did a knitted one to see if I like that size. It's just a, a little, you know, different shape. I'd probably fold it in half and I like to repurpose things and throw it in the wash and reuse them. Here is, uh, I think, 
a crochet yeah this is a crochet stitch I wanted to practice I don't even remember what it is really but it's very much textural it's like the post stitches golly I don't remember but it, it's really nice here's another one of the little you can use that in the kitchen or in the bathroom or face cloth so I just keep filling them up as I go what else do I have? I didn't have one of the scrubbies in here that I used on the loom. I thought I did, but they're all gone. I need to make some more. What else? Behind me, I have a few things that I grabbed real quick to show you that I made. This was a pattern by Kristen Omdul. It's a cowl, and it's with some very fine yarn. Let's see. And I had that put away already. It's a pretty little, almost like a little pico edge on the end. Okay. This I made because summertime, it's just an open mesh cover up. I can. Sometimes I wear it with like a tank top underneath with a pair of shorts or a swimsuit. There it is. It's made with the cotton and it's so hot here. So that came in handy. And I made this shrug. I made both of those things, the cover up and the shrug probably two years ago, but I trimmed it in this color and it covers, it goes down to my thighs. It's nice and warm. Let's see. Then I have this, I knitted this quite some time ago, but I just loved the colors. A triangle shawl, see the, it starts there. And I really like wearing them the bandana style. What have I got on here? A real fuzz. There. Keeping it real. <laughs> I used to get my daughter to come and uh, come over and try on my stuff. And we'd go outside and I'd let her model it. And I'd put it on my blog so I can keep track of my creative adventure. But see, I really like these. They might be, uh, you know, the garter stitch, but I love the squishy feel of it. I also like open lace. I don't know anything I don't like, right? Anything that's crochet or knit. I grabbed my husband's hats out that I made quite some time ago. This one is crocheted. It's a soft yarn. I think that's might be Lime Brand Home hometown or something I don't know and here's a knitted one we both have match matching ones of these it does get windy sometimes in the cooler months like February and March if we're lucky and it's nice to have a hat just to keep your you know ears warm and keep the hat heat under in your body and this I made a long time too. This is one of those infinity scarves. I really love the color of that. And a hat with the trim and the same scarf color. With a pretty flower. And I think that's about it of the I have another bag. I just couldn't get everything out today, but that's time for another video. I hope you enjoyed the projects that I have worked on in the past and seeing, you know, my projects that I might be donating and some are to stay, but most of the baby stuff are to be donated to either a shelter, more than likely a shelter and homeless. So... That's about it. I want to thank you all for visiting today and have a great and wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.